Hey everybody, this is Tim Millaway, uh, giving you another After Effects tutorial. Today, uh, we're going to learn how to export a lower third um, out to Premiere Pro and if you work in the broadcast community, out to um, a broadcast, broadcast Picks, which is a brand uh, that's normally used in a studio. Um, so um, yeah, so let's get going here. Um, so first of all, uh, so this is our graphic that we're going to want to export out. And if we turn this on, we can see the transparency. Um, if we build a lower third like this, we want to build it without a background to it. And um, uh, so this is the transparency up here, and this is the graphic. So um, we're going to learn how to export that out of there. This first first is for if you're going to load it into Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or another editing software. So we're going to come up and we're going to add to render queue. Okay, so uh, first thing we'll do is output to and so we'll um, name our, we'll put it in the file that we want it to go to and I'm going to put this as um, this is the lower third for Jim McGrory and, um, and we're going to save that. I don't think you can see that up here, but we're going to hit it, hit a save down here. And then we're going to come out to output mode. And here's the important part is that, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to want it to go to RGB and alpha. And the other important thing is if we go to our format, our video codec should be animation. Uh, we can leave everything else the same. And um, and and if you have audio, we'd want to click that audio in there. Let me move this over a little bit, and we hit OK. And basically, that's it. We render it out, and uh, and you can that will render without an alpha with the alpha channel. So the second part is if if we want to export this out to to uh, broadcast picks, which is a studio software, uh, studio um, program, and the way we're going to do that will be in our main in our composition for the third, and again we'll go to um, we'll go to new uh, to composition, add to render queue, and um, and we're going to go do the same thing again. We'll let's uh, name this. Uh, uh, lower third, uh, Jim McCrory, and again, you can't see that down here, but I am saving it, and it's right now it's saving it as a quick time movie. What we don't want that, we want to go over to output mode, and we're going to change this from quick time to a Targa. Targa sequence and again we want to use RGB and alpha and in the format we want it to be 32-bit uh, and also we want it to be RLE compression otherwise it will make a very big file and it'll take a very long time to export. Um, this is a sequence of about five seconds so it's going to create a sequence of about 210 files approximately. So when we render this out, we are going to get basically a sequence. And and if you're working in broadcast picks, that's what you're going to you're going to import this. And, and of course, I'm not going to be. I don't have a broadcast picks to show you through on this uh, computer. Um, but basically, let me show you what you would get. Um, let's see. Let's look at Brian Cahoots. And this is going to be your output. It's going to give you a TGA file and 
approximately 213 for 5 seconds and that's what you would ex export into your system for broadcast picks and for the MOV it'll be an MOV file and that will be uh, you can export that directly into Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or whatever your software program is so um, thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and thank you again and we'll see you next time we're back let's get started so first we are going to going to go to and make a new composition and you can hit command 